Senator Nita Turner launching workers focused political group. She's the right woman for the job. Nina Turner introduces We Are Somebody, a groundbreaking initiative set to change the narrative for workers nationwide from picket lines to policy room. Let's look. Everybody is somebody. Most people want the ability to afford housing, health care, provide for their family, and be able to take a vacation every now and then. While most corporations are seeing record profits, they aren't leading to record wages. Imagine that. CEO pay has skyrocketed over 1,000% since 1978. CEOs are paid 399 times as much as a typical worker. Workers deserve better. From the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. supporting sanitation workers in Memphis, to Fannie Lou Hamer's work for black farmers in the South, to Asa Philip Randolph's work organizing the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, and organizing the March on Washington, the fight for liberation has always been a fight for workers' rights. It is in this robust tradition that I am launching We Are Somebody, a capacity building organization for the working class. Our first major initiative will be to put our full support behind the 21st century workers movement. We Are Somebody aims to serve as a bridge between those who support unions and workers and the workers who are putting their livelihoods on the line by withholding their labor and demanding better from their employers. Every worker is somebody. You are somebody. We are somebody. And if we are committed to putting a little extra on our Ordinary, extraordinary things will happen for working class people in this nation. The cause is right and the time is now. Help ensure that workers on the front lines are supported, protected, and funded. We are somebody. I adore her unapologetic passion. You can tell it comes from the heart. Right? She cares about working people. It actually makes her happy. It actually makes her move a little bit too. It's like Beyonce's renaissance is, you know, up here, Taylor Swift too. And then look, Senator Turner's right up there with what she believes and performing on behalf of workers. The values behind we are somebody, one job should be enough. Workers' rights should be codified into legislation. Strike without fear. And the need to rebuild the middle class. What she's saying there, Dina, is not radical. Isn't it the American way? You work so you can achieve something, so you can pass something on, so you can enjoy life, not so you can rush home if it's not in jeopardy, and then rush out, work all night, leave the kids fending for themselves, not because you want to, because you have to. This is too much. Is she riding this wave, leading it, and helping to support this union wave, this strike wave, this worker strike back wave? I feel like she's perfectly poised, this organization, to do what they need to do. I mean, absolutely. So satisfying with the GOP chaos that we led our story with to see an elected official doing the right thing at the right time for the right people is so satisfying. So glad that she's doing this initiative and this group. And it's about time workers here finally, I mean, they need, like you said, we need a living wage. We need health benefits. We need vacation pay. We need childcare leave. It's just about time workers in this country um, you know, it's just we know it's it's too tough. Um, you're willing to do the work, but you're not getting really paid what you deserve. And they, we need as many as they need as many allies as they can. And um, I'm glad that she's doing it. I am too. You know, when you think about members of Congress who, at least most recently, were scared to give themselves a pay raise, but they're like, "Well, we do deserve it. We need it. We're living in two households, two cities, whatever." Okay, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Let's deal with the workers, people who sent you there. Remember us? Remember us? 